Ah, my board's up in the back shed. This little beauty of James Hardy. Um, it leaks. It's got rotten front doors. The windows don't open. And the front door is half rotten as well. But it does the job as long as it's not raining. <laughs> I've got so much stuff I could show you in here. It's fun, I just realized. This is, you know, all I've done for 10 years from a training point of view, a little bit in the gym bouldering, but uh, mostly on the edges here, particularly this string of little edges. The two beast makers set up like a snatch board here. I've got a slightly steeper snatch board here. Um, I've got more snatch here. I've got 12 mil snatch, 8 mil snatch, 4 mil um, potential snatch. Uh, Patch is my training partner, pretty much. He does backyard sprints while I have a fingerboard. There he goes. And so my trainer, Rocky, he said, Boy, what you need to do if you want to stand up to that boy that stole your hot dog downtown, you got to learn some new tricks. You know, your one-two combo is too predictable. So we're like, all right, all right. Yeah, so you hit, him, hit him with a jab, hit him with a jab, and then a one-two, and then a, a panda scratch, panda scratch. And if that doesn't get him, hit him with another one, 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 one. That's why I've been practicing. It's good. <laughs> this is just rando being psyched on Bruce Lee stuff. <laughs> um, and it says Schweinebaum. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, Bruce Lee's rad, as we all know. I've got a lot of little drawings around the place. Most holds have a specific uh, name um, and goal scribbled on them. So this is Fisticuff. I made this maybe a year or a year and a half before I did the Wheel of Life, specifically for the Wheel of Life, because it's a one joint edge and I'm full crimping and that's pretty much my hand position for the entirety of Hollow Mountain Cave. Goal here, 20 seconds, full crimp um, because that was the goal. I think when I did the, the wheel in full crimp I did 15 seconds one arm. This one is a 10 mil beast maker, an old systems foothold that they used to make and that's, that was a project for a long time but I've been able to hang that one arm and then I've got a 9, 8, 7, 6 mil projects um, that's eight mil club eight mile club <laughs> that's called trash bird and this one's called future wolf yeah future wolf is six six mil and um, there's only one of them so the obvious goal there is to build up to be able to one arm on that and I've been able to one arm on it with a little bit of assistance but not not without um, not with my full body weight yeah but I'll do a, a set of repeaters on that, that, and one of these more boners, but a little bit more assistance. And then mostly, if I'm doing a half crimp or chisel session, then I'll do it around on the beast maker. Today we're going bouldering, so I'm coming out to warm up, have a little bit of a, a recruit session before yeah. going to um, the Jungfrau, points, and then I'll come home later, and I'll have a, another session. So yeah, it might be, a couple of times a week, three proper training fingerboard sessions and then a bit of a warm-up session as well. Everything here is, is for a reason. So I've got one joint drop down snatch board here, slightly steeper one joint drop down here, uh, eight mil, 12 mil um, to have this half crimp or chisel or open three. Uh, a piece of ply, $7. Uh, A rung. The Bunnings fingerboard aisle is one of the best places to find some training equipment. 8 mil rung, 12 mil rung. I reckon even with a fingerboard and a few choice um, project edges, I don't know, at least for me anyway, that's all I need. Oh. 
the Beastmaker fingerboards stacked on top of each other are really good as snatch boards. And you bop, 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 coming up, coming down, super accurate, quite difficult. Toby Benham was the originator of the phrase snatch board. What he had was essentially a canvas board, but the rungs differed so much because each one was handmade with a chisel, but without a vise. That, uh, and he just called it a snatch board because you'd snatch between them. So that's where the phrase comes from. But um, it's essentially like a canvas board but with, but with um, worse rungs with a bit more of a uh, contact bias. That is probably pretty much it from a sort of first part of the warm-up side of things before I go out for a boulder down the Jungfrau. It's not by any means a fingerboard session, but I'll finish the warm-up uh, at the crag on a crag board and then pull on a few times. Should be good.